there are definitely those who will come into the city and gawk and just look at what's going on with open mouths, open jaws, and then just leave. When I go and photograph buildings that are abandoned, I like observe the structure. I, I start thinking about like who lived here and what happened and I, some, I, I cry <laughs> sometimes as I go through it um, because I know that somebody is really affected by this, that there's a person who lost their home or a person who once owned the home. Well, Templates of Detroit uh, conceptually started in 2003. I'm creating 10 pieces on three feet by six feet, uh, Luan wood, stained wood, and I use mixed media to create parts of the piece and then the pencil drawing, charcoal pencil drawing to create the portraits. And one of the reasons I chose pencil is because pencil is, it's slower. Using the pencil forces me to engage the person. Even though I've taken the photograph and I'm now in my studio, I can think more about the person I just photographed. Looking at the d details of their eyes, the scars, telling their story a little bit more because of the details that I include in the drawing. Part of making something your home or some place your home is you take it in and all sides of it, the good sides and the bad sides. It's just like, you know, relationships. <laughs> but I'm not going to leave Detroit just because there's, okay, there's blight. There's things that need help, you know, need work done. And um, I'm here to stay. Well, Isaiah 58 is very compelling to me. Issues of justice and oppression, violence, uh, homelessness, those are issues that concern God also. And so I don't separate like, oh, this is my art life and this is my faith life. It's, it's together, it's combined. In this, in that chapter, it also talks about being repairs of broken walls and restorer of streets with dwellings. And it uses the word you, and I believe it's plural, and it's addressing the people, saying you are going to rebuild the city. You're gonna rebuild the broken walls. You're gonna restore the streets with dwellings. Then your light will break forth like the dawn, and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call, and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help, and he will say, Here am I. Then your light will rise into darkness, and your night will become like the noonday. day.